Okay, so I've heard this question a good amount. Uh, well is in PvP, how is it gonna influence the game? There are some anti-well mechanics, but there are some mechanics that are more or less infinitely wellable. And we're gonna talk about both of them and talk about how that's gonna affect PvP. So what I wanna do first is explain where the pay the win will be before I explain where the counter to the pay the win is. So the what we need to do is focus on one thing when we go to the pay the win aspect of PvP. Players with high offense rating can kill opponents far less defense rating rather quickly, meaning that offense rating and defense rating are now referred to as combat rating. So you can, if I say combat rating, that's basically what this is referring to. And if you have higher combat rating than somebody else, you will basically be able to crush them. Now, how do you get higher combat rating? Well, every time you get a point in a stat, either intelligence, strength, fortitude, vitality, or willpower, you are going to be getting a combat rating point. You also can get combat rating points by maxing out gems. If you look here, for instance, a one star gem at rank 10 will give you 44 ORDR, which is basically combat rating. Whereas a five star gem, which is more of the pay to win ones that will require a lot of grinding as well as paying the win to achieve at rank 10 will be 240, what will be referred to as combat rating. So what does this mean? This means people can get higher offense ratings to kill people with less of the ratings quicker because they'll have the gems. So now let's talk about the way that they're trying to counter this. Well, if if uh, combat rating basically makes you do more damage and receive less damage, what they're worried about is people snowballing. So they have some mechanics that reduce this. Your offense and defense rating, AKA combat rating, are scaled down to 10% of their original value. So they deflate this difference. So instead of, let's say a 5,000 to a 7,000 power, free to play to a well, for instance, instead of it being a 2000 difference, they deflate it down to a 200 difference because it's one out of 10 value. So as a well, somebody's gonna have to well basically 10 times as much to get the value in the PVP, where they're really gonna get the value is PVE and farming, farming quicker, okay. Block chance is reduced to 20%. If you don't know what block chance is, block chance goes up to 60%. And is a stat that you can get through some of the other attributes, for instance. If you go down here, I'll scroll down uh, to where it talks about block chance. Look at this, increases the, uh, the chance of block all damage from an enemy attack and critical hits cannot be blocked. So what does this mean? Uh, well, this can go as high as 60%. So blocking will reduce your damage. I actually believe that, uh, I think this is not as updated. I thought blocking actually reduced it by 50% if I remember correctly but it, maybe they updated it and it's now it's 100%. So uh, either way, blocking's a big deal. Reduces the incoming damage. Block chance is reduced to 20% because normally the cap is 60% for the block chance. So now there's not as much of that happening. Now critical hits can't be blocked, right? Well, critical hit chance is now only 10% per player. So if you have block rate, it's not gonna get negated by a well, it's 100% crit chance, okay? And everyone's gonna have basically the same block chance anyway because it's gonna reduce to 20%. Harmful effects like freeze and stun are reduced by 50% of players. So if you have a three second stun, it's only 1.5 second stun. This, since it reduces it all kind of evenly across everything, is kind of a, a mulligan to give me. There is one way, and I think it's mostly just to make the gameplay smoother, like sitting there stunned for three seconds straight would be highly annoying. So they're probably just trying to speed up the pace of it a little bit. Uh, one thing I want to show you is that the sets do affect PVP and are not mitigated. So increases the duration of your abilities that cause the loss of control by 30%. So you can get 30% more of your half duration. Increases the damage done from all sources while suffering under your loss of control effects. And you can see here unleashes a Nova Vice after you defeat an enemy under a loss of control effect dealing damage, blah, 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 blah. So these sets are another ways that you can uh, adjust the harmful effects on players. So there is some counter well mechanics now we can also talk about sort of being the Immortal. If you go into the Immortal Guide or the Shadows Guide and you talk about this, uh, what they'll break down here is the Shadows, which are essentially the players that are trying to be the Immortal, or trying to beat the top clans, will slowly gain strength over time until eventually the Shadows will become stronger than the Immortals and will just win. So we've already talked about that anti-well mechanic in one of the PVP videos. If you haven't, I would subscribe to the DM Diablo Immortal channel and look at the PVP guy where we break down how exactly that works. But this is another one such mechanic. So what does this actually mean factually at the end if we break it down without trying to have copium and all that? Uh, because of the way that offense and defense rating, AKA combat rating is going to work in this game, being able to get legendary gems as high as possible, meaning uh, the, the five-star ones, welling out for these with the crest and gain 240 of the combat rating, 
will mean you'll have more combat rating than other people, which means, yes, you're going to kill them significantly quicker than average, but if it gets gutted down to only 10% of the disgustingness that you would have been on the other person, you get 10% of that value. And then the other stats we've already covered, they get reduced. And that's how it's basically going to work. Now it's up to you to decide whether or not you think that's enough. I will say in a lot of these other games I've played, uh, ARPGs in particular, the Welling doesn't have any kind of counter mechanic. Like there is, there is no counter mechanic to stop somebody who is just infinitely stronger than you than one shot than you. I mean, Marvel Future Revolution comes to mind in PvP. I remember me being a well right in the launch and I'm literally AoE and just killing like 10 players around. It was ridiculous. And there was no way to stop that. They didn't have any kind of mitigate. It wasn't 10% or anything like that. It was just the full unblown well power. And then eventually the free to play people caught up and, and were just as strong. But it took a while. It took like six months or more. So my point being that, yeah, you're probably going to see some well action uh, conquering through in the beginning. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is the Battlegrounds are MMR'd. So there is actually like an ELO system. So those people are going to climb higher quicker. This is how the system works. I like that there's some anti-well mechanics, both for the clan and for the normal standard solo queue and party PvP. Let me know what your opinions about this are and if you think it'll be enough. Love you all. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Consider subscribing if you want to see me again.